Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Today, as my t-shirt says, we're gonna drink some local beer. And that local beer is Carl Strauss, the oldest brewery in San Diego, and this is their 22nd anniversary ale. This is a pretty interesting beer if you see on the label. It's a vanilla imperial stout. 75% is just straight imperial stout. 25% blended in is stout aged in oak barrels with vanilla beans added. So, I mean, normally oak barrel will impart some vanilla characteristics, but they're also adding the vanilla bean in there. So it's gonna be a big vanilla imperial stout, that's for sure, with those characteristics. And they did wax the top here. So I'm trying to get off. And they all, they hand wax these whole things. Every one of these balls was hand waxed um, that I saw on there. Website. Um, really looking forward to this. Had this out of the fridge for oh, probably close to half an hour now. You want to drink these big beers. This is a 9% Imperial Stout. Not as big as some Imperial Stouts, but please drink this at a warmer temperature. I've, I've made the mistake in the past of uh, you know, drinking these too cool right out of the gate, but um, if you put this in your refrigerator, you know, you don't have a cool basement, you know, let it warm up to at least 45 degrees for an imperial stout. Um, you could drink this upwards, probably 60 degrees. Still gonna be uh, real nice. So, appearance wise, we've got about a finger and a half of uh, mostly medium sized bubbles. Um, color wise, you, you do see some, uh, some clarity, you see some light coming through this beer. It's not pitch black. Definitely some ruby red notes on the bottom of the glass. It's pretty kind of light brown head on there. So it's not as dark as you might expect from Imperial Stout, but uh, let's get the rum on it. Aroma wise, you get mostly actually alcohol. There's some wood character in there, some of that oak coming through, just a touch of vanilla, a uh, touch, of, touch of a roast character, and then just a, and then some nice like fruit esters in there, like there's some kind of uh, sweeter smelling like malt characters, like a caramel malt sweetness, but with some those yeast fruit esters that they're probably using like a British style-ish yeast, something with some good fruit esters coming through. So not the greatest nose, but uh, especially with the beer that you know claims to be a vanilla imperial stout, not a whole lot of vanilla characteristic on the nose, but uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh yeah, it, you might not get it on the nose, but you're gonna get that vanilla in this beer. Actually, quite a quite a bit of vanilla in it. Um, ooh, nice chocolate on the finish. Get a real nice aftertaste. Yeah, nice lingering like darker darker kind of chocolate, kind of semi sweet to dark chocolate finish on there. The vanilla notes kind of happen er earlier on, more like mid palate. This one's kind of interesting because up front you actually get some of that heat. Some alcohol in there. Once that kind of fades away, really start getting the, the oak woodiness, that earthy kind of character along with the vanilla. Good amount of vanilla in there. And then that nice kind of chocolatey finish. A little bit of a roast character in there as well as you kind of expect with the stout. Um, touch of uh, caramel notes as well. Kind of get some of that sweetness. Um, thankfully, it does go to the drier side for Imperial Stout. Um, there's that lingering chocolate character, but it doesn't completely like continue on until your next sip. It will fade away. Uh, it's, it's a medium bodied beer. It doesn't completely coat your tongue as that kind of really sticky character, which you do get on some Imperial Stout, especially the ones that go in uh, 10 plus percent. But this one, because it's not completely full body, makes it a little more drinkable. Um, I just wish like right now that the alcohol character would be a little lower on it, but um, they did wax it, should be uh, ageable, especially a year from now. I'm really curious how to see this one's going to be drinking. forgot to mention, it does say on the bottle that the 25% portion of the beer was aged in the oak and vanilla beans. It was only in there for three months, so um, it tastes like a beer that would be like a little younger, kind of going into like more of like a whiskey character. 
Um, this beer, like, it, it does definitely tastes younger because you do get some of that alcohol heat up front. But um, thankfully, uh, it's washed away by those other kind of characteristics the beer has. So this review, this is my first beer of the day. So it's probably not the best situation to be drinking it because uh, there is that heat on there. I would recommend this being more of like uh, have some, you know, a few beers. And this is a great after dinner kind of drink where you've had a few beers, your, your palate's will maybe a little more used to some alcohol. And some of that heat goes away and I think some of the vanilla notes will be a little more present as well. Especially if you're pairing it with some, uh, some chocolate dessert. So for that reasons, I'm going to give this one a B. I think it's just a really nice above average imperial stout. Just tastes a little too young in terms of some of that alcohol presence. Um, but there is a, a good bit of uh, complexity in there as well with the vanilla and the oak. Um, thankfully for their 23rd anniversary beer, they, they put those into the barrels at the release date for this. So hopefully next year, whatever the next anniversary beer is going to get a full year of aging in the barrels. So hopefully uh, it will be really drinkable just right out of the gate. This one, grab a bottle, drink it now at dessert, and then let one age. And uh, that alcohol characteristic will kind of go, fade away a little more, but a, a really solid above average uh, Imperial Stout from Carl Strauss, who are starting to brew some really good beers. Um, but this one's probably you're gonna like, depending on how much you like vanilla in your beer. So just be warned, there's a good amount of vanilla in here. So till next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.